One of the biggest stories from these storms, the days long closure of Interstate 80. A 75 mile stretch remains shut down tonight from Applegate to the Nevada state line because of those blizzard conditions near the summit. Even with I-80 closed, some drivers still finding ways to get on the freeway, then they're getting stuck. CHP and Caltrans have been responding to calls for stranded drivers pretty much all day. The closure on I-80 will likely last until tomorrow. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live at Applegate with a look at how the heavy snow and highway closures are impacting businesses, Madison. Yeah, it must be TV magic. The snow picking up just as you come to us here. Business will be booming in Tahoe, but right now no one can get there. Trucks on the side of I-80 here at Applegate. Emergency vehicles like the one you see coming towards you here clearing the roadways. Really the only movement that we've got on I-80 today just because it's not safe. This was Palisades Tahoe earlier Tuesday, closed after more than three feet of snow in 24 hours. The scene in Truckee Tuesday, nonstop snow kept the team at Tahoe Waterman's Landing, a paddle sport rental and coffee shop closed too. Well, on days like today, I think everybody's busy digging themselves out and because it's, we don't want to be part of the problem and then put more human on the roads. Annick Wild, the owner, calls me from her porch in Truckee. She told me when it snows this much, nobody's out for coffee or on the water. So business is non-existent. Yeah, of course, it's a little bit of a economic burst when, you know, we've been closing days after days after days, but it's it's tourism. Uh, you just got to save your dollars like a little chipmunks for the better days. What are the economic impacts of a storm like this? I-80 has been closed at Applegate to the state line for more than 24 hours. That's millions of dollars of commercial goods and thousands of vehicles at a standstill. By the numbers in 2019, 4.7 million plus dollars in commercial goods were transported every hour over the summit. In 2020 daily, 34,000 passenger vehicles and more than 7,000 commercial vehicles moved through this major highway towards Tahoe. I mean, we may lose a little, but I, like I said, it's part of the living up here in the mountain. And then, you know, now with all the snow, it's going to probably uh, be much better for fire um, safety. It's, the lake's going to fill up again. This is white gold, okay, especially for ski resorts. I, I did ask Heavenly Kirkwood and North Stars Ownership Group if we can already start looking ahead to a longer ski season, maybe beyond the spring. Right now they're still holding that April will be the last day, but that could change. And they also wanted to say that the season started strong too. Kirkwood opened 20 days early, so maybe we'll get 20 extra days at the end of the season. It's still too soon to say.